from Shaquille O'Neal cheating on his wife with another team player's baby mama to two teammates at the Phoenix Suns sleeping with Steve Nash's wife. These are NBA players who slept with other players' wives. When talking about cheating scandals in the NBA, the first person that comes to mind is definitely Shaquille O'Neal. Everyone knows the big guy who dominated the NBA for years, made a name for himself as a rapper, movie star, TV analyst, and media personality. But what you might not know is that Shaq was a serial cheater. One controversial incident fans will never forget is his cheating scandal with Laura Govan. Back in 2010, Shaq's wife, Shawnee, accused him of cheating on her with Laura, who happened to be engaged to Gilbert Arenas and was the mother of his children. Talk about drama on and off the court. Leaked emails between Shaq and Laura hit the internet, and man, did they contain some explicit information about their secret rendezvous. Yep, I'm talking about the kind of stuff that's usually kept behind closed doors. As you can imagine, the scandal shot bricks through the relationships of both couples. Yikes! Soon after the emails were released, Shawnee had had enough and filed for divorce. Can't blame her, right? Gilbert, who was engaged to Laura, found it hard to believe that she had actually slept with Shaq. But as time went on, he changed his mind and accepted the hard truth. In an episode of his podcast, Gil's Arena, Gilbert once opened up about how the cheating scandal affected him. And you won't believe this, but it seriously messed with his performance. I've got to say I'm not surprised, because that must have been a hell of a distraction. According to Gilbert, during a game against the Indiana Pacers, he was at the free throw line and ready to shoot when he starts hearing those two punk kids chanting Shaq over and over again. But wait, it gets worse. The kids were making rude gestures to mess with Gilbert's focus, and all these interruptions threw Gilbert off his game and he ended up missing both free throws. I mean, come on, it's hard enough to make free throws as it is, but with the scandal going on, it's no wonder he struggled to concentrate. But in a hilarious and crazy turn of events, Laura later came out and denied the whole cheating scandal with Shaq, saying, hell no, have you seen his feet? How are you gonna sleep with somebody who has feet like that? Honestly, I don't wanna know what Shaq's feet look like. But the Lakers legend and his weird-looking feet have a reputation for being a womanizer. And get this, in his book Shaq Uncut, he tries to explain why he cheated. Shaq claimed that so many women were practically throwing themselves at him so he couldn't resist the temptation, even while he was married. If you ask me, that's some bold reasoning. But if you thought this incident was crazy, then let me tell you about the awkward scandal involving Indiana Pacers Paul George, Roy Hibberts, and their wives. Yep, you heard that right. And trust me, the whole situation is just as awkward as it sounds. Till 2010, the Indiana Pacers had a pretty solid team. And leading the way was none other than the dynamic duo of George and Hibbert. These guys were killing it on the court, but things took a weird turn during the 2014 playoffs. The Pacers started playing super disappointingly, and of course, the rumor mill got to work. In no time, crazy stories went swirling around, and out of all the crazy speculations, a teammate of theirs, Lance Stevenson, made a comment that caught everyone's attention. Cue the drama. Apparently, there were some not-so-innocent conversations going on between Paul and Hibbert's wives on social media. Instagram was the battleground for this scandal, and a gossip column called Baller Alert somehow got its hands on an anonymous email, and they spilled the beans. According to this email, Roy Hibbert found out about the whole thing because his wife confessed to feeling guilty. Turns out PG and Hibbert's wife had been chatting it up on Instagram for a while, and that might sound perfectly normal, before the two ended up having sex. Ouch! Talk about betrayal, especially since these two were supposed to be just friends. I don't know about you, but that's a really awkward situation right there. No wonder things went downhill for Roy on the court after that. It seems like he just walked away from it all, and his performance suffered as a result. So we've talked about NBA players sleeping with each other's wives, but have you ever considered the possibility of them going after the coach's wife? Well, it turns out that's not off limits either. Take Andrew Bynum of the Cleveland Cavaliers, for example. He was suspended for conduct detrimental to the team, but then given paid leave because, as it turns out, he had a relationship going on with the wife of one of the coaching staff, Jamal Mosley. If you ask me, this scandalous situation is a real doozy. Bynum had even played in 24 games that season before this bombshell dropped. 
But after this scandal broke, he was out of the league for years, and there are no signs of him coming back anytime soon. Now, no one can say for sure if this was the only reason for his downfall, but it definitely didn't help his reputation. It just goes to show that when it comes to NBA drama, anything is possible. Like Tony Parker of the San Antonio Spurs, cheating on the absolutely stunning Eva Longoria with a teammate's wife. When you're married to someone as gorgeous as Eva Longoria, your eyes would never wander, right? Well, think again, because Parker got himself involved in a sexting relationship with none other than his teammate, Brent Barry's wife. And the crazy part is that the two couples were actually close friends, usually hanging out together, which makes this whole situation even more jaw-dropping. Longoria discovered tons of text messages between Parker and Aaron Barry, and let's just say she wasn't too happy about it. She kicked Tony to the curb, dumped him, and got rid of the tattoo of their wedding date that she had on her wrist. Ouch! Not only that, but Brent Barry also decided to call it quits and filed for divorce. Talk about a major fallout. Parker later on opened up about the whole messy situation in an interview with Hello Magazine. He admitted that leaving a relationship is never easy, especially when it's under the microscope of the public eye. He acknowledged that in a world where everything is online and on social media, Hollywood takes things to a whole nother level. Well, Tony, maybe next time think twice before you go texting someone else's wife or even ex-wife, like in the case of this next scandal. Yup, I'm talking about the drama between none other than former teammates from the Los Angeles Lakers, Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher, who got caught up in a scandal that's straight out of a soap opera. Fisher retired from playing basketball, becoming the head coach of the New York Knicks, while Barnes switched positions to become a forward on the Memphis Grizzlies. Everything seems to be going normal, right? Well, this is where the situation ends up getting crazy, because Barnes had just gone through a divorce from Gloria Govan, who you might recognize from Basketball Wives LA when he found out she was seeing Fisher. I mean, it's obvious bro code to not date each other's exes. And man, Barnes was pissed off. He got inside his car and drove 100 miles from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles to confront Fisher in the backyard of Govan's home. And things got ugly real fast. One source told the New York Post that Barnes went crazy and beat the out of Fisher. Yikes! Clearly Barnes took this whole situation very personally. The guy drove all the way down to Los Angeles just to settle the score. That's some serious dedication, or maybe some serious anger issues right there. But if you thought that was crazy, get ready for some serious drama. Because I've got a scandal involving not one, but two players from the same team. Barboza, who played with the legendary Steve Nash as a teammate at the Phoenix Suns, had a little something-something going on with none other than Nash's wife, Alejandra Amaria. Talk about crossing some serious boundaries, right? Well, it gets crazier, because just a day after Alejandra gave birth, Nash filed for divorce. And the reason behind it? Nash believed that the baby was not his, but Barbosa's. Ouch! Because the baby comes into the world and guess what? It's black! And trust me, that's not the worst part. Because after getting a DNA test done on the baby, Steve found out that even Barbosa wasn't the father. Instead, turns out Jason Richardson, another one of his teammates, was actually the father. Damn. I mean, we all know cheating scandals happen, but this one takes the cake. It's like something straight out of a soap opera. So from two teammates at the Phoenix Suns sleeping with Steve Nash's wife, to Shaquille O'Neal cheating on his wife with another team player's baby mama, those were NBA players who slept with other players' wives. 